Hello YouTube, this is Jesse from Stanley PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how uh, you can hide images inside of other images. And this is basically an introduction to steganography. I mean, it, steganography can be really complicated. You can really get creative and you can do all kinds of cool stuff. You can hide images in video, video in messages, uh, uh, conceal files and all all kinds of stuff but we're is, this is just a basic introduction if you want to know more about it you can go to this website and you can show how it has been used over the years uh, it's since uh, earlier than Greek times uh, in war and all the things but we're not doing none of that stuff what we're going to do we're gonna take an image and take a, and hide a bitmap image. I'm not using bitmap, I'm gonna use a spectrogram. This one is just a bitmap, but I'm just gonna use a spectrogram. It's a lot easier and, I, and you can do a lot of other stuff with it. So that's why I'm choosing that. And let's get started. In order to do that, you're gonna need two, two software packages that we use. Uh, this is Audacity and you can go to this uh, web page here and, and download it for free. It's a great software, so go there and get it. It's free. And you're also going to need Sonic Visualizer. You can go to this website right here and also get it for free for Linux. Uh, and it's also Mac and Windows. So you're going to need those two because that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to have, I here, I have, the, I'm, I have one image and another image. So this is the image that I'm going to hide inside of the Mona Lisa. Okay, I'm going to be using this code. Uh, as you, if you remember, I did some tutorials. I have some tutorials that I did using blind source separation, using Shagoon, Scikit-Learn, and ICA and, and uh, Fast ICA. Well, I, I, I'm using something similar to what I did there. There, I inverted the place in places with the images using Shogun. But in this case, I'm going to be using something a lot simpler. So you don't have to download uh, all of those libraries. With, I must say, though, that if you really want to do expand on what I'm going to show you today, then you, you can go to watch my videos and you can see how to do a lot of other cool stuff. But if you want to do just something simple, this is all you need. I got this from Alexa. He's got this uh, simple Python code that is very simple to use, simple. And I have it here. You can go to his website and copy it to the his GitHub page, or you can get it from here. And I'm going to leave it there for one second so you're able to... Uh, to copy it. Uh, we're not using OpenCV, we're just using image from the Python imaging library, pill. And these are the what we need. Uh, if you know OpenCV, you know what's going on here. Basically, it's very similar to, to how they do it, but uh, it's not a BGR, they use RGB, so it's reverse. Uh, the sample rate, normally when you're doing with sound and audacity, this is the sample rate that we use is 44,100 1, 44, hertz. It's using one channel, they, two data sizes. Uh, here I increased it. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, you can play around with the number depending on the image that you're working with. You can You can change that. And what else did I change? Uh, these are the RGB, just getting every pixel, and S equals RGB. Um, what did I change? Uh, here you can change this if you want, um, and play with the numbers. I mean, depending on what image you're working with, I must say again, it will depend on what, what image you have. Okay. And this is the usage, and I'm going to copy it here and be lazy so I don't have to do it all over again. And now I hope you copy the code because I'm going to close it now. And basically, let me show you what the images are before I run the code. 
And this is an image that I have with a local boxer that just made a movie about him. Notice that I'm on his right, and I'm, there's a reason why I tell you that. I'm on his right, and I'm going to close that, and I'm going to show you the image that I'm going to use as my carrier, as my vessel. And I'm going to put the payload inside here. In one of my favorite paintings, the Mona Lisa. So I'm using that image. I'm going to create a WAV file. And I'm going to put it inside the Mona Lisa. That's basically what I'm going to show you. And for that, I need that command again that I copy and paste. So before I do it, let me show you. I'm going to execute this code that I showed you earlier. The input that I'm using is the the input picture that I'm using is Vinny JPEG and the output WAV file I'm gonna call it an output WAV file I already did this but I'm just showing you how to do it because it takes about two and a half minutes so I didn't want you to wait for me so I just did it as you can see it's already output there but i'm just showing you how to do it the time duration is one second and it's an output wave using vini jpeg so you hit enter and it's going to take about two two minutes two and a half minutes depending how fast your computer i'm going to stop it because i already have it right there so now i'm going to take audacity and I'm going to open that file. It's that output WAV file that it was created. And it's this file right here. I'm going to reverse it by going into effect and reverse it so you know that it's a different image. And I'm going to save that. I'm going to export it. Output. But instead of output, I'm going to call it output reverse, WAV file, and then save it, and then hit OK. And this part is done. The Audacity part is done. And now, if I go here, now I have two of them. I have the reverse file that I just did and the original that I created. So now I'm going to take that output. WAV file, and I'm going to open it with uh, Sonic Visualizer here. And go File, Open, Red Wave, Open, and it's this guy right here. That's your spectrogram. And I'm going to go Layer, Add a Spectrogram, and now I'm going to make it bigger. And if you can see, you can see that I am on the left now, before I was here. And to make it a little bit better, we can do a little bit better than that. We can do DV2, and then we can do white on black. Leave it on screen, or white on black. What's better, green? Let's just leave it white on black. And let's make it a little bit better. 9375. We can maybe go to 2048 window. Yeah, a lot better. And there you go. This is it's not a bitmap, but it's close to it. And it's not color like the one that they have in the wiki, but you get my you know. This is just an introduction. So now I'm gonna take this image and I'm going to save it. Export image file and going to to save it where am i going to save it i'm going to save it oh, where am i i want to go there and i'm going to go to youtube youtube then stenography and it's going to become a png file and i'm going to call it spectrogram one save it export it yes so now i have this image 
saved here. And if you go here, you don't see it there, but now you're going to see it there. So you go ls, and there it is, spec png. So now I'm going to take that spec png, and I'm going to, this is the payload. So I'm going to take, I'm going to go zip, spec, I'm going to call it secret, well, let's call it payload, payload, zip, and then I'm going to give it a name. So you deflate it, and there it is. It created this zip file. So now I'm going to use concatenate the cat and go payload. Always start with the image first. Mona Lisa. The, the uh, wherever you go, the vessel, the carrier, wherever it's going to carry the payload. And then you go payload, zip, and it's going to go into secret. Let's call it secret JPEG. And now if we go display secret JPEG, there it is. And inside of it, you, you can tell that there's an image inside of it. Uh, there's a WAV file inside with an spectrogram inside. So in order to prove this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this one here. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to create another directory. Just in case you don't believe me, I'm going to go secret directory. And I'm going to move the secret JPEG into that directory, into secret. And it's not there anymore. So if we go into secret, ls, there it is. So now I'm going to extract it, secret JPEG. And he's telling me. Hey, there's 79,304 extra bytes. Extra. So that's if you get one of these messages someday when you're opening a, a, a file in Linux, be careful because there's a payload inside. So just so you know. So it's, it's warning you. So now you see the image is inside and it's a spec one PNG. And there it is. Okay, and it came out of that one. And this is, uh, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. And as you can see, it's the inverted image because I'm on his left. And, uh, and this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and GitHub. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great day and thanks for watching.